Welcome once again to this episode of Cooking Up a Parable. I'm your host, Chef Heather. Today we'll be cooking up the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Let me go to my recipe book, the Bible. Let's see, Pharisee and the tax collector. Ah, there it is. Let's see. Oh, this one's simple. I just need a Pharisee and a tax collector. I have my ingredients. A tax collector and a Pharisee into the pot. We'll give these a good stir. Throw all that up. Again, we simmer for 30 minutes. While it simmers, let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for everything that you've given us. Help us to love you as much as you love us and show your love to others. Open our eyes and ears this day to hear what you would have us hear, learn from this parable. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's see what this parable tastes like. Thank you, God, for this lovely provision as a priest and for the food that you have gave me and for my clothes and for being here on earth and for my lovely family and this position as a priest and not like that tax collector. God have mercy on me, I'm a sinner. Miss Melanie, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for our last parable. Oh, this is our last one? This is our last parable that I have created. Oh, that's amazing. I have had so much fun learning about some of the parables of Jesus. Remember, a parable is a story with a lesson, and Jesus used them a lot. And I'm really excited to talk about this one because I think it's something that we all, not that we don't all struggle with all of the lessons we learn in the parables, but this one is about two things, two real words that I can't wait to talk about because I think this one needs a lot more explaining. Well, it was a simple recipe. It was a, a Pharisee and a tax collector. It was. It was a simple recipe, but it was a really important lesson. It has been simmering for a very long time, so why don't you read okay. out of the Bible what it really means? Because, gee, I know, after all of this, out of all these parable lessons, Jesus uses parables to teach yeah. lessons, and you use the Bible to teach us lessons. So, so there we go. There we go. So this time, well, it's in the New Testament again because the New Testament is where Jesus taught us our parables because the New Testament is after Jesus was born. So that makes sense. Yeah. This is from the book of Luke, which is chapter 18. And remember, if you don't know where it's at, you can go to the table of contents. But I'm going to go right to chapter 18. And this one is verses 9 through 14 because this is where the parable comes from called the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Your Bibles even tell you that. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. So two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves and rogues and cheaters and even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give a tenth of all my money, but that tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but his beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, I am a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the others, for all who exalted themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. Hmm. There's a lot lot in that recipe even though it, is. it seems it is. simple when you mixed it up so let's talk about that that parable is really about bragging versus being humble mm. so if you're bragging about all the things you're good at did you know that that takes the focus away from God so if I'm saying oh boy I did a really good job reading that scripture well that's not good that's not God knows what's in my heart and so when that Pharisee made that big deal about, oh, I'm good, at, I'm really good, and I look at me, look how good and humble I am, or good and, you know, look at that tax collector. Oh, what is he even doing, acting like he is more important to God? He knew, God knew, that that, that tax collector 
was more humble in his heart than that Pharisee. That Pharisee was bragging about what a good Christian he was, what a good believer he was. And when we do that, we take the focus away from God. Because who gives us all of our gifts and talents, including our ability to read? Who gives us those? God. God. All of our gifts and talents come from God. So we need to go to God and be humble and say, thank you, God, for loving me, even though I'm a sinner. And that tax collector knew he was a sinner. But guess what? That Pharisee was also a sinner because we're all sinners. So when you brag, it takes attention away from God. And when you're humble, you know that God gave you all your gifts and talents and that you put God first. Wait, Ms. Okay. okay. I said something wrong in the beginning of this. Oh. I said that I created these great <gasps> parables, and I really didn't. Mm. God created the parables, and he gave me the recipes. I just put them together. But you know what? It's okay to be good at stuff. I'm, you, good, at, I'm good at cooking. You're really good at cooking. Yeah. As long as you give thanks to God for yeah. being good at cooking and you don't walk around saying, hmm, look how good I am. You can't cook at all, Miss Melanie. I'm a better cook than you. Thank you, God, for giving me the ability to cook. And I will credit you with all the recipes that you have given me. See? That's what that tax collector was doing. He was saying, God, uh, I mess up all the time, but I love you and I want to try harder and I know that every gift and talent I have comes from you. And that Pharisee, who was supposed to be a, a more Christian man, was doing it to say, oh, look at me. Look at what a good person I am. Oh, what are all those ugh, yucky people doing? That's not having humility. And God knew that even though he was saying words about how much he loved God, he knew, and God, God knows what's in all of our hearts. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter what you say to people. If you don't feel it in your heart, God knows. So even if you're not bragging on the outside, but in your head you're thinking, ha, ha, he can't, he can't, she can't cook at all. <laughs> even if you're just saying it in, in here, God knows what's in here. So, whew, God knows our heart. And God knows, even though, even though you said, I, I think God knew what was in your heart and knew that you just wanted to teach others what, another parable of Jesus. Yeah, I do. Wow. So much. And, get, and one other thing. So you're going to hear these parables a lot in your lives. And you're going to learn something different each time you hear it. I learned something from this parable again today. Every time I hear it, I learn something different. So kids, think about all the parables, the stories that have a lesson, and now you know why Jesus uses them, because you're going to remember them, and they're so important to the teaching of Jesus. So, what a great time we've had cooking up parables with you. Yeah. Do you want to taste this last one? I'm going to taste this last one. Bye, everybody. Bye.